Hello again, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2020, looking at some of the new features in the program. In one of our other tutorials, we looked at guided edits that walk us through the process of sometimes enhancing photos or improving photos. In version 2020, Adobe has also added a couple of features that work pretty much automatically. Now, when we worked with Perfect Photo there in Guided Edits, we use the tool for smoothing skin. This tool is available as a standalone tool also if you just go under Enhance. There's Smooth Skin. And again, the program does pretty much the skin smoothing automatically for you. You can increase the amount of smoothness if you'd like. Don't go too far. You don't want it to look unnatural. But yes, you can push that pretty far. And look at that very nice smoothness there to what was once a wrinkled face. One other feature I think is pretty cool, and it happens again virtually automatically, is the new Select Subject tool. Now, in previous versions, as you know, you've been able to draw a rough outline around a person, and then the program would automatically select that person. Here in version 2020, if you go into the Select tool, you'll find the option to Select Subject. The program will analyze your picture and select the subject entirely on its own and it does a pretty good job of it too. When I select it here, quick analysis of the picture, and can you see the marching ants going around this photo? We have just a little bit of straying right here, that's easy to fix, and then right here around the left side of the neck, we can see, or the right side as we're facing the picture. We've selected some of the swimming pool also, but look at this, the hand, the fingers, everything perfectly selected. To correct that selection, all we need to do is hold down the Option key or the Alt key, and we can choose one of the selection tools to unselect some of those areas. And I'm just going to choose the Brush Selection tool or the Selection Brush. Hold down the Alt key, and I can just paint over the area I don't want selected. Now we can make that brush larger and smaller by using the tool options at the bottom or by using the bracket open and bracket closed buttons here on our keyboard. Bracket open makes it larger. There we go. Hold down the alt key and I should be able to paint right over that area here and get a much more accurate selection. I'll make that smaller to get these fine areas. But for the most part, this tool does this automatically. It does a great job. I've tried it in a number of situations and it's really good at identifying people and selecting them virtually automatically. A very nice tool here in version 2020. Now, if you want to know more about this program and all the tools in it and how to make selections and how to work with selections and why you make selections, be sure to check out the tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about Photoshop elements, check out the moviepix.com guide to Photoshop elements. And why not pick up also the moviepix.com guide to premier elements available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. I'm the author, and I hope to see you again real soon.